everybody, and welcome to Maplewood, Minnesota, and Aldridge Arena, home to the Pioneers from Hill Murray. Tonight, a long-standing rivalry in high school hockey. The Bears from White Bear Lake are in town to take on your Pioneers. Alongside Corey Fransmeyer, I'm Jeff Brandt. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, what a great way to start off our uh, boys' hockey season here, Jeff. White Bear Lake, Hill Murray, one of the great rivalries in high school hockey. Looking forward, looking forward to a great one this evening. Early on in the young season, the Bears at three and one thus far. The Pioneers come in at one and two. We take a look at the Suburban East standings where the Bears sit currently in third place with four points. Yeah, it's a great way to start this uh, young White Bear Lake team. Off to a good start, three and one. So uh, looking forward to seeing how they develop uh, as the season goes along. The Pioneers coming out of the Metro East standings at this point also sit in third place. Had a record of one and two thus far. Yeah, Hill Murray lost uh, a lot of guys from uh, last year's state tournament team, but you know, uh, uh, the Bill Lecter coach team will always be there at the end. So we'll see how they kind of come together as the season goes on. Long-standing rivalry here between the Bears and the Pioneers. We look at the White Bear Lake power play coming in at 8.3%, but their penalty kill has been dominant thus far at 88.9%. Yeah, and they've done a good job of not hurting themselves, only six penalty minutes per game. You know, their history shows 18 state tournament appearances, but yet to win that elusive uh, state championship for White Bear Lake. On the other side, the Pioneers come in at 15.4% on the power play and it's 75% on the penalty kill as well. Yeah, they've been a bit of their uh, own worst enemy here so far, uh, averaging 15 uh, penalty minutes per game. But uh, their history is 26 state tournament appearances and three state championships. So like I said earlier, Hill Murray will be there in the end. Last year, uh, look at uh, both teams here as the, the Bears met up and ended up shutting out Irondale six to nothing in the section four AA quarterfinals. Yeah, then we were able to do that Stillwater Classic last year. Uh, that double overtime thriller where Stillwater upset White Bear Lake 3-2, uh, to two, and uh, that was an instant classic last year. And the Pioneers were able to make their way back to the state tournament. It started all out with a shutout win over the North St. Paul Polars in the quarterfinals. Yeah, then they easily beat a, uh, a young Moundsview team 5-2 to two in the semis. And then that Stillwater team was just out of gas by the time they met Hill Murray in the championship, and Hill Murray beat them easily 4-0 to go on to the state tournament. Couple key players to watch on the White Bear Lake side, number 38, senior defenseman Wyatt Newpower. Yeah, he's one of their go-to guys uh, from last year, coming back here as a senior, off to a great start. One goal, three assists, and just an on-ice leader. Uh, so, you know, he's plus minus a six, so when he's on the ice, good things are happening for the Bears. For the Pioneers, they rely heavily thus far on a freshman, number 14, Ben Hagelson. Yeah, and their only win of the year, he had uh, two goals against Bur Burnsville. One was a power play goal, and you know, sometimes it doesn't matter if you're a senior or freshman, this particular freshman's rise to the occasion so far. I had an opportunity to sit down with head coach Tim Sager prior to the game, go over some keys to tonight's game. First and foremost, he touched on how this young team for the Bears just needs to get their feet under them. A lot of inexperience thus far on the Bears roster, so don't let the moment uh, become too large. Secondly, play well defensively, uh, as all teams need, need and want to do. And then thirdly, just to get pucks in deep behind the Pioneer defense to set up the offense. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. I was able to talk to uh, Bill Lechner, Hill Murray's head coach, uh, before the game as well. And he kept it pretty simple. He said, stay disciplined, play smart, and don't let this rivalry get too big. Downplay it a bit. Take it as another game. And, uh, you know, don't let the crowd and, and different things like that affect you, the, how you play on the ice this evening. We're going to head down to the ice level now where we've got Sam Erickson standing by. Sam, down to you. Hey, fellas, how's it going? Should be a great matchup here tonight. I'll be at ice level, also cruising the crowd as things get increasingly louder here. I'll be cruising the crowd. I'll be uh, getting interviews and checking in. Should be a great matchup, shouldn't it, boys? Absolutely. That it should. A long rivalry getting set here the 2015 season. The Pioneers, the Bears, face-offs next. Community media, from my point of view, is um, organic. It's power. Public access, to me, uh, gives me an opportunity to get my word out to the uh, larger community of the town that I can't get to on my own. This is good programming. This is what people say, well, how come they don't ever write anything good in the news, right? This is the good news. What we're doing is critical, it's important, 
we have to stay energized and motivated to do this work in our community, but understand that our real mission is to hold up our part as we encourage others to hold up their part around the planet. Welcome back as we get set to drop the puck here at Aldridge Arena, home to the Pioneers. But Corey, thus far, the White Bear Lake fans have certainly filled in nicely here. And yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, it's, uh, White Bear Lake is kind of, both programs have been great uh, throughout the years, but, uh, you know, Hill Murray's kind of always seen the better end of this rivalry. And so White Bear Lake, they're hungry. You know, the kids, the players are hungry, the fans are hungry, and they just want to be Hill Murray. Absolutely, always uh, the big game to get up for is long-standing rivalry here. We take a look at head coach Bill Lechner as he's uh, been with the program for quite some time now and able to uh, enjoy at least one state championship back in 2008. Yeah, you know, uh, Bill Lechner runs a nice program here and they're a perennial state tournament team year after year. Take a look there at uh, junior goaltender Jake Bagley for the Pioneers. It's We'll see some action tonight. We're underway here in Aldridge Arena. Puck goes down into the White Bear Lake zone. Played behind the net by New Power. And now out through center. The Bears come quick. Shot right on, and Bagley easily holds. The first shot goes by the way of the Bears by number 29, Brett Meister. Yeah, Jake Bagley was uh, a sophomore last year, and he was kind of thrown in the starting role kind of towards the second half of the, half of the season. Um, did a nice job. You know, obviously helped the team in the state tournament. Off to a decent start so far. He's one and one, but 89% uh, uh, save percentage and, uh, and four goals against. So, like I said, he's been a bit shaky so far this early on the season. Brock Larsner wins the draw back shot from the point by New Power. Steer to clear by Bagley. And now down in the corner, we got our game's first penalty already early on. A delayed penalty on the Pioneers. As the Bears, New Power sends it up through center, tipped in all the way down. It'll be touched here by Bagley. And the Bears will go on the power play early on here as cross-checking is the call. Yeah, we spoke about it a little bit in the pregame there, Jab, about um, Hill Murray kind of being a, a bit of their own worst enemy. And, you know, 35 seconds into the game, and, you know, they're already killing penalties. So, uh, you know, it'd be a long evening if they continue this road. Penalty, Number 15, Dylan Mills, Dylan Mills is the guilty minutes, party, so he'll sit for two minutes in the sin bin and cross-checking. White Bear Lake's power play here gets set as new power. Goes on the half wall. Back to Jenrick. Jenrick off the mark there. New power is going to have to come back through center. He sends it rink wide over to Fiddle. And now new power out of his own end. Just off the mark for Fiddle and back to play it for the Pioneers. Sent up through center by Sean Ryan. Yeah, this White Bear Lake team, this was a lot of seniors were on that team last year, and they were really wanting to get to that uh, that state tournament last year, and they fell a little short. But losing that game to Stillwater, and uh, like I said, the, the guys returning from last year's team are probably hungry. Two on one opportunity for the Pioneers, and they score early on, Luke Ronaldo. Short-handed goal, just a couple minutes in, and the Pioneers strike first. Yeah, that's Luke Ronaldo's second goal early on this season, and uh, not, not what uh, White Bear Lake was hoping for with a, a power play 30 seconds into the game, and then a minute later, they give up a short-handed goal. Uh, head coach Tim Sager had told us prior that they need to get their feet under them and really get, uh, get a feel for it of the game and we take another look. Ronaldo goes short side and beats goaltender Bob Parento to put the Pioneers up 1-0 here early on the first period. Sent down the length of the ice as White Bear Lake still remains on the power play with a, just under a minute left. Definitely not the start that Coach Sager was looking for. We'll see how the Bears respond. Yeah, Bob Parento's been pretty solid so far this year. He's 
three and one with a 1.3 goals against average. So I think that I think Hill Murray just caught him sleeping a little bit and um, snuck an early goal by him here in the first period. Back behind his own net is Cattlebert as they break out ringside pass on the tape of Brock Larson as he gains the zone. Larson down out front, but no one's home. It comes all the way back to Cattlebert. Cattlebert tries to go backside, a breakaway opportunity for Ryan. Ryan shot and a goal! The Pioneers, two shots, two goals, both short-handed, and they lead it 2 nothing early on here in the first period. Yeah, here, Sean Ryan steals the puck, gets an easy breakaway, and registers his first goal on the season, and uh, White Bear Lake has found themselves with their backs against the wall early on. Down 2 nothing against Hill Murray here, Jeff. One way to quiet the crowd across the ice is by going out and scoring early, and that's exactly what the Pioneers have done thus far as they take a 2 to nothing lead just under a couple of minutes to the start of this game. And if you're Bob Parento, you're looking to just make a couple of saves and get your feet under you. Pioneers are back to full strength. The Bears send one in. That's deflected out front. An opportunity here, good defensive play there by Riefenberger as he headmans the puck now on the stick of Mills. Mills tries to go back to Riefenberger. And it's knocked down into the corner. Battled here, Riefenberger comes out with it. He sends it back to the point. Quas sends one in, steered aside by Parento. And now White Bear Lake looks to break out of their own end. Here's New Power through center, and he'll dump it in. The Bears will get some fresh legs out. Yeah, Jeb, you were kind of talking a little bit about the crowd. You know, it was definitely White Bear Lake's crowd was definitely more amped up for this game than uh, than Hill Murray's. And uh, Hill Murray did a great job of uh, doing what they needed to do to quiet down that uh, ruckus group over there that's probably been uh, thinking about this game all day long, and we're pretty pumped up going into it. Larson with a shot right on, steered aside by the goaltender Bagley. And now the Pioneers through center. As hard into the zone as Kyler Yo tries to go out front, just off the mark for Neubauer. And now the Bears back the other way through center with speed as Meister makes a move towards the net, but defended nicely there by Breezy. And Meister sends it down as Carroll gives chase. And on the half wall, back hard into the corner is Yenrich. He ties up there. And set back, shot wide of the net. And the other way, Bauman for the Pioneers loses his footing there. The Pioneers able to send it up through center. This one will go for icing. 12.22 left to play in the opening period. And the Pioneers jump out to an early 2-0 lead on just three shots. Yeah, Bob. Bob Parento is definitely off to a bad start, and I'm sure he's sitting over there just kind of kicking himself for uh, not at least, you know, saving one of those and keeping it close. But, you know, there's still a lot of game left here, Jeb, and uh, with a rivalry like this, I think we're uh, still in store for some fireworks. Absolutely. Puck sent around the half board and now played up through center. And the Bears look to get a deep. Big hit there thrown by Ronaldo. Game's first goal score for the Pioneers. And now the captain, Casey Stom, sends it up. And it's sent right back in by the Bears. Back behind his own net, this is Ryan. And it's sent up through center, sent in easily by Peterson. And New Power sends it around. Down in the corner, the Pioneers picked off there by the Bears. And back the other way is Will. And just off the stick. Good hustle play by Will as he battles behind the net there. And now the Pioneers. Pioneers look to break out. We've got a delayed call here on the Bears as I think Will may have picked up an elbowing penalty. Nevertheless, the Pioneers hold possession hard into the zone. Sent out front, bounced around. Parento able to get a pad on it. Finally whistled dead. Charging is the call. 
on the Bears. And so we'll see the Pioneers power play here. Yeah, Hill Murray was uh, inches from making this game 3 nothing. You know, it's been it's kind of funny. You look at the score, it's 2 nothing Hill Murray. But really, the game's been played in Hill Murray's zone most of the uh, first period here. So, I mean, the score's a little deceiving on who's kind of controlling the pace of play so far. Power play for the Pioneers coming in at a low percentage thus far, but still early on the young season as they get set up behind the net. This is Ronaldo sends it over to Helgeson. And Helgeson up top to Stom. Helgeson from the half wall tries to go back door to Mills, but just unable to connect was Dylan Mills. Yeah, you know, this uh, kid Helgeson's got some talent when he's on the uh, first line power play for uh, a school like uh, Hill Murray. You know, the kid's got some skills and some ability. Especially as a freshman, Sean Ryan plays it down low to Mills. Now back up to Ryan. And he sends it down into the corner for Helgeson. All the way over, one timer just off the mark. Nice job almost holding it in there by Mills. As Ryan sends it up all the way back and the Bears fiddle will send it the length of the ice. Both teams change. And back to pick it up is Ryan for the Pioneers. Just under a minute left, Pioneer power play. They lead it 2-0 on a couple of shorthanded goals here early on. Sent up to the top. Ryan sends one in. Never made its way on to Parento. Now out of the corner, this is Yo. Sent down. Back behind the net, Peterson plays catch with Yo. And now Yo sends it over to Bremer. Bremer unable to make his way to the front. It sent the length of the ice. Both teams change again and now just under 20 seconds left in the Pioneer power play. Yeah, White Bear Lake, they got 10 seconds left here. This would be a big uh, penalty to kill for them just to kind of keep this game within reach. Don't want to let it get too out of hand here in the first period if they want to yeah, fight and battle here throughout the next two periods. Turned over in neutral zone. Now the Bears inside, just through the crease. Just about snuck it in was Bjornberg. As we get a stoppage in play, then that off the mornings, and the Bears sure could have used the lucky bounce there as we take another look. Yeah, Connor Bjornborg kind of skates in, sneaks around the defender, and has a nice little slippery backhand here, but just didn't quite uh, find the in between the pipes or get past Begley, and uh, we still got a 2 nothing game here, Hill Murray. Tough break for the Bears and a great break for Begley is it remains a 2-0 lead for the Pioneers. Nine minutes left to play in the opening period. As the puck is sent in deep by the Bears fiddle. Now sent around far side. Hurley for the Pioneers unable to clear the zone. Held in nicely by Fiddle. Now behind the net. It's sent around down into the corner. where it ends up as coming out of his own end through center just off the mark there now the pioneers take the zone this is nah excuse me Nath sends it in deep and now the bears look to break out held in nicely there by patronic new power that one's deflected out of play. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, White Bear's got to continue to just be the aggressor here. You know, maybe try being a little, you know, out physical, uh, Hill Murray, you know, but not be sloppy, you know, because, I mean, like I said, Hill Murray's first two goals were both on uh, on power plays for White Bear, and they just got sloppy with the puck, and that's the reason they're behind 2-0. They certainly seem to calm down a little bit after the uh, tough breaks there early on. And like you said, they've controlled a, a lot of the time of possession in the Pioneer end. Just about cut the lead in half by Bjornberg, but trickled through the crease. Now out of the corner, the Bears and the Pioneers battle down low. This is Hagelson. As he sends it inside, it's sent right on. Parento able to cover up. A heavy hit thrown there that sent Mills to the ice. Yeah, it hasn't been easy so far for, Parent for Parento. And even the one here on the replay, as you've seen, just kind of whipped at the net. Just about caught him off guard. 
Yeah, everything's been kind of out in front of the net and kind of, you know, clustered up or, like I said, some disadvantages where you got, uh, you know, two-on-one skaters or a breakaway where it's, uh, you know, it's tough for a goalie to go one-on-one -on -one against a skater coming at him. Out of his own end now. The Bears look to break out as on the half wall they battle. Puck comes to center. And now near miss two-on-one there as Breezy sends it up. New power has to wait for Hampstead to ch check up back on side. And now all the way back, sent over to New Power. New Power sends it up through neutral zone. And battled on there. Back to play it, New Power tries to go rink side. And now the Pioneers regroup. Sent up quickly. And the Pioneers are called for offside as Bauman went in a hair early. Yeah, like I said so far here, Jeb, the, the crowd was really into it here in the first period. And it's just, even, you know, if uh, Hill Murray, for the fact that they're up 2 nothing in this big rivalry game, their fans are kind of sitting on their hands too, knowing that there's still a lot of game left. And, uh, you know, this rivalry can go either way uh, any time during the game. Certainly, I think a White Bear Lake goal would certainly change the landscape here as the Bears are just waiting for something to cheer about. Sent in deep there, hit off a couple of players, now down behind White Bear's net, sent right on, tough angle, Parento makes the save. And now Stom throws it back down into the corner. And on the half wall, they battle. This is Ronaldo, excuse me, Kyler Yo, sent all the way back up top. Stom in the corner tries to make a move. It's cut off there now. And Bauman sends one in, deflected wide. As Yo battles behind. And now this one comes out through center, knocked around there. White Bear Lake back the other way. This is Fiddle sends it in deep. Stone goes into the corner hard. Now Puck's rung around. Held in there by Will. Will tries to come through center to trickle all the way down to the White Bear Lake end. And back to play it is Lions for the Bears. Meister sends it up through center. Bounced around there, big hit thrown. And now the Pioneers through center. Onto the tape. Touch pass there as everyone careams into the goal mouth. The Paratone lets the Pioneers, Luke Ronaldo, know how he feels. Yeah, you know, Jeff, by kind of watching this game here I feel like White Bear Lake is out skating Hill Murray a bit they just been a little foolish with the puck hard to the net you see as the three of the players end up in the face of Parento so it gets us a stoppage in play face off will come to the left of Bob Parento just under five minutes left here in the opening period looks like we've got a pioneer power play as Penalty was called on number eight, Alec Will. So the Pioneers will go back on the power play. Yeah, like I said earlier, Jeb, uh, White Bear Lake is killing penalties at about an 89% rate. And, um, you know, once again, they need, a, they need to kill a big one here because there's no way they want to go in the locker room here after this first period down 3 nothing. Down out of the corner, Ronaldo sends it up top to Mills. Mills back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo on the half wall up to Mills. Mills sends it to Stom. Stom over to Helgeson, back to Stom. And now Helgeson sends one on. It's deflected up into the netting. 4.32 left to play here in the first period. 134 left in the Pioneers' second power play. Yeah, like I said, I was saying earlier, Jeb, um, you know, Hill Murray's got to do whatever they can here to, to or Wiper Lake's got to do whatever they can here to stop Hill Murray because um, 
I don't know if they've got the the experience to come back three nothing in such a, a big rivalry game like we have here this evening. Exactly. That's one of the things head coach Tim Sager had mentioned that uh, there's a lot of inexperience even from the older guys. You can kind of tell even though they came out skating hard, just waiting for a guy to step up and make that big play. Heavy hit thrown by Riefenberger. You know, and it's uh, you know, Coach Lechner had said to kind of downplay the rivalry here for his uh, boys here at Hill Murray, and uh, you know they've been able to uh, to do that. You know, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of easy to do when you're the team that's kind of controlled this rivalry, if you will, to kind of come in and kind of forget about it. Absolutely, the older brother, so to say. Absolutely. Riefenberger through center here. He's got Ronaldo with him. Shot right on Parento there to make the save. And now it's sent down the length of the ice by the Bears. They'll get fresh legs out. As back the other way, Stom for the Pioneers comes through center. Now Mills behind the Bears net. Sends it up top to Ryan. And Ryan shot never made it to Parento and it's knocked out through neutral by the Bears. Sean Ryan from his own end. Sends it over to Bremer. Now Bremer gains the zone. Sent up top. Ryan down low to just off the mark for Bremer. And back the other way is Alec Will for the Bears. Opportunity and a good stick there by Sean Ryan to break up the play. Yeah, an extra pass there might have been uh, the best idea, but it's... Uh, a little too late to, you know, it's easy to say that when you're sitting up here in the booth, Jeb, but uh, an extra pass might have been the, the difference and put this game uh, one goal away from, uh, from tying. Tyler Yo sends it the length of the ice. The Bears have to retreat. And now Dan Lyons sends it in. Played there by Breezy. And sent right back in by the Bears. Hard after it is Brock Larson. He's now in the corner. The puck gets tied up. And from his own end, Neubauer sends it up to Bauman. And the puck trickles out through center. Will can't hold on, and now into the zone is Neubauer. He sends one on. Blocker saved by Parento. Now at the top, sent all the way over. Fanned on it there. And Neubauer is there to play it on through the corner. New power back from his own end. Breaks out, sent back to New Power. Through center. Nice defensive play by the Pioneers as New Power goes in hard behind the Pioneer net. 120 left to play in the first period. The Pioneers lead it two to nothing on two shorthanded goals early on. Sent in there, easily held on by Bagley, and he'll hold on for a whistle. Let's go down to ice level to our own Sam Erickson. Thank you, Jeb. As you said before, both of those goals coming uh, this period off the shorthand, not the way White Bear wanted to start. But let me tell you, it's not discouraging their student section, still standing up in full force, and they are alive and well in this rivalry game, and they want to see this White Bear team climb back into this one. Back up to you guys. Thank you, Sam. As White Bear a shot right on there and held on by Bagley. I don't think he's seen it until it hit him, but like Sam touched on, just a, a goal away from the uh, the Bears fan base just exploding here as most of them on their feet just waiting for the moment to cheer here. And I think that would be something that would definitely uh, benefit these uh, fellows out on the ice that could use something to uh, kind of inspire them a little bit because I think they've they've outplayed Hill Murray a bit this evening. But um, like I said, a couple foolish uh, puck handling mistakes and you know, there they are down 2 nothing. Back out of their own end here is Stom as he sends it up through center, picked off there, and it's sent in by Varney. And sent around, unable to hold on to it there, and the Bears send it back in. Bagley there to hold it up. And Sante, excuse me, Sean Ryan from his behind his own net will play catch there as they kill off the final 25 seconds here. They look to head into the 
first break with a comfortable 2-0 lead. Bounced around through center, big hit by Newbauer. And now the Bears with just under 10 seconds will close out the period from their own end here. So after one, the Pioneers on two shorthanded goals jump out to an early 2-0 lead, and that's how it'll end after the first period. We'll be back right after this. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? B, console her. Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Thanks, single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. And welcome back as we get set to start our second period. The Pioneers jumped out early with 2-0 lead. Let's take a look at the goals early on by the Pioneers. First one coming by number eight, Luke Ranallo. Yeah, Luke Ranallo had an easy breakaway with White Bear Lake was on power play and he, uh, there it was. It's, Oh, that was uh, Sean Ryan with the easy breakaway. That was his second goal, or his, uh, the second goal of the game and his first goal of the season. And that's where we stand here, 2-0 Hill Murray in the first period, after the first period. You touched on it, both goals coming on the penalty kill. So not the exactly what the Bears would have liked when they went on to the power play. Little did they think they'd give up two shorthanded goals, but nevertheless, that's where we stand as we get set to start our second period in our rivalry game here tonight between the Pioneers and the Bears from White Bear Lake. Yeah, Hill Murray outshot uh, White Bear Lake 7-4 to in the first period, but really uh, White Bear Lake controlled the possession. They were in Hill Murray's zone most of the first period. A couple sloppy mistakes when they were on power play. Other than that, we'd have a 0-0 game, but uh, instead we have a 2-0 uh, Hill Murray lead, and uh, here we are, second period, the rivalry continues. As we get underway, second period. Set down into the Pioneers end. Comes all the way back to New Power. New Power sends it hard into the corner. And back to play it is Will. Now back up top. New Power shot right on. Never made its way to Bagley. And the Pioneers look to break out of their own end. Mills battles in the corner here. It's turned over there. Shot on. Kicked aside by Bagley. Brock Larson had shot for the Bears. Now out of his own end, Reifenberger tries to make a move around New Power. New Power sends him into the corner. And now the Bears out of their own end. Yenrick sends one on just wide of the net. Sent all the way back. And now Reifenberger again up to Mills. Knocked off his stick. And back to play it is Stom for the Pioneers. Sends it in deep. Yeah, Jeb, I think here in the second period, it's important for White Bear Lake not to lose sight of what worked for them in the first period. Yeah, they're down 2 nothing, But you know what? They did a lot of good things and keep playing that way, keep playing hard. And um, like I said, they'll get their bounces. They'll get their fair shakes of opportunities here. And they nearly cut the lead in half on an opportunity by Bjorngerg that uh, just rolled through the crease. Nevertheless, 2-0 uh, the lead here in the way of the Pioneers. Back behind his own net, this is Varney who sends it up to Williams. And now Williams will send it in deep. Now the puck in the corner here. Kicked back down to Breezy for the Pioneers as he turns around. Now Ronaldo sends it up through center. New power knocks it down there. And now Brock Bremer for the Pioneers makes his way in and knocked off nicely by the Bears. Sager unable to clear for the Bears. Sent in just off the tape as New Power had a good look at it, but couldn't corral the pass from the corner. 
Now it's set through center here and back to play it is Patronic for the Pioneers. Sends it into the corner. Brock Larson's in hard for the Bears. Held in nicely there by Lyons. And it's sent back down. Pioneers flip up through center. And Kyler Yo sends it through the neutral zone. New power goes D to D with Larson. Now back to New Power. And behind the Bears net. Set up there is New Bauer for the Pioneers. Kicked around and now Dan Lyons after it for the Bears. Yeah, Jeb, on the other hand, for Hill Murray, I think it's important for them to just keep playing the disciplined, smart hockey that Coach Lechner uh, spoke of before the game. And, uh, you know, don't give that uh, younger brother the opportunity to uh, fight you one-on-one -on -one if, uh, if you kind of catch my drift on that one, Jeb. Absolutely. Out of his own end, Reifenberger now for the Pioneers with speed. But it's knocked away from him by the Bears. And back the other way, this is Meister for White Bear Lake. Meister puts on the brakes, tries to send it down low, just off the mark for Hampstead. And now out of the corner, this is Carroll sends it down low. Comes all the way up, held in nicely by Cattlebert. Now sent back around, back to play it for the Pioneers is Ryan. He has one of the two Pioneer goals. Through center, Helgelson for the Pioneers. On the half wall, tries to center for Reifenberger. Back to Hagelson. Shot right on there by Breezy. Knocked away by Parentone. A heavy hit there that's going to draw a penalty as Dylan Mills went in hard into the corner, but a little too aggressive on that one as we take another look here. Technical difficulty there. Mills went in hard into the corner and I believe was called for hooking. Yeah, and you know, Jeb, like I, like, like I was saying, you know, don't Hill Murray don't give uh, the younger brother the opportunity here to uh, to rise up and, and pick the fight. But it's tough to say when Hill Murray scored both their goals on uh, shorthand in the first period. But this is a good opportunity for White Bear Lake to make a statement here in this game. Bears look to set up their power play here as they're back behind the Pioneer net. And on the half wall now is Meister. Meister sends one in down deep. Pioneers look to clear and they're able to. Back at center, Cattlebert. Now Meister for the Bears. Meister through center. Now Lyons sends it in low. Unable to hold on to it there as Breezy sends it up out of the zone. And now Meister, the Bears unable to get anything established here as Breezy sends it up to Ronaldo. And an opportunity here in deep, and they score! Brock Bramer, another shorthanded goal for the Pioneers as they go up three to nothing over the Bears. Yeah, that's Brock Bramer's. First goal on this young season for the Hill Murray Pioneers. As you can see, just another breakaway shorthanded. Little backhand flip past Parento. Parento's had a hard time here this uh, evening when it comes to uh, kind of the, the, the chances. I mean, it, basically his back's against the wall. It's just him one-on-one -on -one with a skater coming right at him. And, you know, more times than not, uh, goalie's going to lose that battle. Bramer puts the Pioneers up three to nothing here, all on shorthanded goals. The Pioneers now with a comfortable lead. You can see the air let out of the sail a bit for the Bears fan base as they've packed their side of the stadium, but thus far don't have a whole lot to cheer for. Now through center, Bears desperately need to break through here and get a point on the board. As things just haven't quite gone their way tonight. And still on the power play, 40 seconds left here in the, in the White Bear Lake power play as they look to set up from the half wall. Yenrick up top to Newbauer. Newbauer over to Fiddle. Fiddle goes down low to Hampstead. And 
Now Fiddle knocked down. Cross-checking penalty coming. Which will keep the Bears on the power play. And thus far, I don't know if that's exactly what they would like. Exactly there, you know. I mean, it's it's going to you know be a five-on-three here for another 17 seconds, and they'll get a five-on-four for an additional a minute 45 after that. But Hill Murray's having no problem scoring shorthanded goals here this evening. So uh, maybe that's the game they want to play. The Bears now with a two-man advantage. We'll see if they can finally break the ice here and get on the board as the puck sent all the way down. Parento back to play it. And now new power from his own end. We'll head man the puck to Fiddle. Fiddle sets up on the half wall. Goes down low to Hampstead. And Hampstead back to Fiddle. New power, top. Plays catch with Fiddle. Down low, Hampstead, back door. Unable to get a stick on it really was Yenrick. But Bagley was there to make the save. Now Parentone gets tied up behind his own net. He's able to flip it around there. And it comes all the way back out to Derek Breezy. He'll send it the length of the ice. And now new power back for the Bears. And Coach Sager early in the game said, you know, there's an inexperienced team here. And uh, I've kind of noticed that the continuity amongst the, the team, or, you know, the White Bear Lake squad here, you know, is lacking. I mean, it, they're just not, um, you know, crisp passes. I mean, it seems like they're in the right positions to uh, succeed. They're just not capitalizing on just because of just little mistakes. And I think it has to do with just the lack of experience of playing with each other, Jeb. And I couldn't agree more. They just look to be a little bit on their heels where the Pioneers have uh, certainly been taking advantage, almost like an experienced boxer just waiting to pick his uh, pick his moments to, to jab, if you will. Oh, absolutely. Or even, you know, the fact that, um, you know, White Bear Lake might be throwing more punches and kind of hitting the jabs. But, uh, you know, when it comes to the power punches, Hill Murray's definitely uh, taking care of business in that uh, stat line. 9.26 left here in the second period. Just 30 seconds left on the power play. Shot right on by New Power there. Steered aside by Bagley. Now from the half wall back up to New Power. He sends it over to Fiddle. Fiddle for New Power. One timer and a big save by Bagley as New Power got all of that one. Now on the half wall, Yenrick up top to New Power. Fiddle unable to cross ice. But he's able to regain, and now the Bears will be in just off sides. That'll get us a stoppage in play. And that's what we're talking about, Jeb, that little mistake by Fiddle. I mean, here they are in the zone. They're, you know, they're passing the puck around, you know, waiting for a good look to take a shot on net. And Fiddle just kind of whiffs on one and, and puts it right, right in the stick of a Hill Murray defenseman. And, you know, there we go again. You know, the puck's back, you know, in, in the other. And that's kind of happened all evening long, and, and that's kind of uh, been the difference in the game. Certainly has. It seems like a lot of the breaks have gone the way of the Pioneers, but I think most of that is just sheer experience and then inexperience on the other side. Yeah, that's definitely one thing, Jeb. You know, we talk about, you know, the luck of the bounce and, you know, puck luck and different things like that, but, you know, the the luck that Hill Murray has has just been experience and just being more disciplined. Now down into the White Bear Lake end was Stom as he gets it deep. Now Bramer sends it up top, and it's set down low there by Peterson. Bramer down to Peterson, back up to Bramer. Top of the point shot just wide of the net. And this one's flipped up into the netting, and that'll get us another stoppage in play. 8-12 left here, second period. Pioneers lead it three to nothing on three shorthanded goals. One by Ronaldo, one by Ryan, and the most recent by Brock Bramer. Bears win the draw, new power from his own end. D to D to Fiddle. Now a turnover here is Reifenberger. Sends one in on. Good opportunity there for Ben Hagelson. And Parento makes a big save, point blank. Honestly, that was, there was a great opportunity for uh, Hill Murray to, uh, you know, make it a 4-0 game. And I'll tell you what, you know who benefited the most from that situation, I believe, is Bob Parenteau. 
that's been about the toughest shot that he's saved. And I think confidence-wise, that's going to be uh, very beneficial as the game goes on here for that young man. Shot tipped out front there, and ever made its way in to Parento. Now Hagelson behind the Bears' net. And it's knocked around there, sent up through center. And Petronic sends it in. Now off the linesman, the Bears look to gain the zone. They send it in. Hampstead out front, and a nice defensive play there by Dylan Mills. Mills through center to Hagelson. Sent up top and a right on. Parento makes the easy glove save, and he'll hold on. Yeah, another nice save by Parento. You know, as long as the kid doesn't lose confidence here in the game, I mean, there's still plenty of time here and, and, and enough talent on this White Bear Lake uh, squad to, to get right back in it, you know. Just bounce here, bounce there, you know, keep working hard, and next thing you know, it's 3-1, 3-2, and we got ourselves a game. Yes, the quickest the Bears can get you know, on the board, this whole game is just going to shift. You can tell the confidence level isn't all that high at the moment. And Pioneers have been kind of having their way with them thus far. The Bears out of their own end here. Knocked around through center. Back to play it is Breezy for the Pioneers. Turned over here. Sent into the corner. Now the Pioneers up through center. This is Hurley. And Hurley has it knocked away. Back to play it is Sontag as he sends it up. Through center, now the Bears will send it in deep. And it's turned back around. It's sent in by Nath for the Pioneers. Behind his own net, Dan Lyons sets up. Pass off the mark, comes all the way through neutral zone. And now it's flipped in there by the Pioneers. Kicked around now, back to center. Breezy will send it in. Now the Bears, Lions will come out. Tries to go cross ice, and the Pioneers send it right back in. Parento from behind his own net. Sends it up to Youngworth. Youngworth battles, trying to clear his zone. He does. Now the Bears will send it the length of the ice. This one will go for icing. Just under six minutes left to play in the second period here. The Pioneers hold on to a comfortable 3 0 lead. Yeah, and it's one of those things, too, where it's, it's, it's been a weird game where, to the point of, of White Bear Lake controlling possession in Hill Murray's zone, but Hill Murray's still the, getting the cleaner looks and the cleaner shots and the more opportunities to score with uh, little time in White Bear's zone. Pioneers try to center. That one's tipped away. Now New Power from behind his own net hops his stick. Yenrick tries to clear, unable. Bremer sends it up top to Stom, who sends it low. And Ronaldo from the corner cycles back down. It's intercepted by Varney. And now on the half wall, Ronaldo will send it back, but just over to the stick of Ryan. And the Pioneers will have to retreat all the way back into their own end. Now Casey Stom with some speed through center. And Stom sends one in wide of the net. Bremer's there, but turned over back the other way. Meister for the Bears. And the Bears are offside. Now through center, near two on one opportunity. New power can't hold on as Ronaldo. First man on the puck, Dylan Mills has his shot tipped away. Back low, back low, need a line change. Now it's sent into the corner, New Power from behind his own net. Rink wide, Meister through center, two on two. Meister takes it in, sends one wide of the net. Tipped around out front, but just wide. Good opportunity there for Will, but unable to get a shot right on. Ronaldo sends it up through center. Collision there and offsides is called. No penalty on the play. You know, I, I think, you know, we've talked about kind of the continuity of this White Bear Lake team and, you know, their passing has been extremely sloppy this evening. I think if their passing was a little more crisp, 
they could get some shots on goal and maybe get some rebounds. You know, they really haven't challenged uh, Jake Begley at all this evening. Um, you know, I, mean, I, I think if they can start get, throwing some shots off and see if they can get some rebounds, you know, they might have a shot at getting back in this one. Absolutely. Outside of the heavy shot by Neubauer on that power play, Bagley hasn't had to do a whole heck of a lot to keep uh, the Bears scoreless thus far. Just under four minutes left to play here, second period. Bears looking to break the, the ice here and get on the board as they come into the zone. Shot right on, a rebound out, but unable to knock it in and it's sent down behind the Pioneer net. Now Kyler Yo will try to send it through center. Turned over here in the Bears' Hamstead from the corner. Hamstead makes his way out front, can't get a shot off. As they send it back and Dan Lyons is there. Now sent around. Carroll sends it up top. New power shot never made its way to Bagley. Sent all around, held in by New Power. And now Breezy from behind his own net. This one sent the length of the ice. Is touched by one of the Bears players on the bench, so quick stoppage in play with just over three minutes left to play here in the second period. Yeah, you know, the few the last few possessions that White Bear Lake had there in uh, Hilmer Zone, they did a good job of uh, you know throwing a couple shots on net and you know, and obviously if the if the passing isn't there, you know, and it's it's not that crisp this evening, you know, maybe take that route. Just start throwing some stuff on net and see if you can't get a bounce or two. Face off comes just to the right of Bagley. As Bremer loses the draw, shot there, never made it to Bagley. Pioneers look to clear, and that they do through center now. Bremer tries to go far side, and it's knocked away nicely by Fiddle. Fiddle through center. Cattlebert sends it in, and the Pioneers breezy back the other way. Puck goes all the way back down. Derek Breezy from behind his net. Onto the stick of Peterson and out through center. New powers back to play for the Bears. Over to Fiddle and now through center. Bjornberg sends it over to Youngworth. Turned over there and now the Pioneers the other way just off the mark for Bramer. This one will go for icing against the Pioneers. Well, Hill Mary, you know, like I said, they've just played a nice, uh, classy, disciplined game here this evening. Um, that's the reason why they're up three nothing. You know, they've, uh, they've they've seized their opportunities when they've had them, but they haven't done anything flashy and they haven't really dominated this game. They've just uh, capitalized on the opportunities that they've had. All of their goals coming shorthanded here thus far tonight. And that's the difference right now. Shot right on, and Bagley's able to hold. Good opportunity for Connor Bjorn Bjornberg, but Bagley was there to make the save. Yeah, White Bear just continues just kind of throwing pucks at the net, and um, you know I think that's their best practice here as this, uh, towards the end here of the second period and into the third is just keep firing them at Bagley and see if he can't um, figure something out and you know keeps Kate hard and, and like I said, don't uh, don't quit here because, uh, like I said, the, the game's still at reach if they just keep continuing to play their game. Just need to get that first one, and I think the fan base will just explode. Sent in by Casey Stom, and back to play it as Lions for the Bears. He sends it over to Yenrick. Far side now onto the stick of Hampstead through center. And he'll send it into the corner. Stom's there to play it. Now Hamstead battles in the corner. And out of the corner comes Yenrick. Now turned over. Nath the other way for the Pioneers. Turnover in the center here. But Dylan Mills is able to pick it up with speed. Mills sends one in. Parento holds on. And we'll have a stoppage in play. Just under a minute left to play here in the second period. Faceoff will come to the left of Bob Parento. As Reifenberger and Brock Larson get set. 
Yeah, the last thing White Bear Lake wants is uh, them to add another goal here before the uh, end of the second period and go down 4 0 in the locker room here uh, going into the third. So, whatever they can do here, just uh, keep the puck out of the net. Pioneers gain possession. Hagelson to Reifenberger. Shots knocked down there out in front of Parento. Now Meister for the Bears sends it up and it's sent down by Alec Will as he gives chase. Down in the corner, Will sends it out front. It comes all the way back, but unable to hold it in was Fiddle. And he sends it rink wide. Now Barney from his own end, knocked around there onto the stick of Fiddle. Just under 10 seconds left. Sent down, no icing called. From his own end is Patronic. And that'll do it for the second period. So after two, the Pioneers lead it three to nothing. Let's go ice side with Sam Erickson. Sam? Hey, thanks, fellas. Yeah, I'm down here ice side. Things are going well uh, in this exciting rivalry. And uh, another shorthanded goal there for the Hill Murray Pioneers early on in that second period. So yeah, they lead three to nothing with those three shorthanded goals. So that's one big talking point. But I've been kind of cruising the crowd, and I've got a couple other talking points uh, from the crowd I've noticed. And uh, that Hill Murray crowd has been very good, very vocal. Also a wide range of alum, both old, well I suppose not alum if they're new, but future alum as well as future stars of this Hill Murray Pioneer hockey squad. And uh, that's another feature that White Bear Lake has as well. A lot of young players out here. You know, of course, we saw the JV game wrap right before this uh, this game took off. But, uh, you know, a lot of youth players walking around. And uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to some of them as this game goes on. Uh, so it's been real exciting, and we look forward to that third period. Thanks, fellas. Thank you, Sam. So after two, the Pioneers hold on to a 3 nothing lead. We'll be back after this for the start of our third period. They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat, ugly. Disgusting. The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, and so are you. Now welcome back to Aldridge Arena as we get set to start our third period. The Pioneers lead it three to nothing. Let's go down ringside with our own Sam Erickson. Sam. Hey, thanks guys. Hey, we want to remind you to uh, like us on Facebook and of course follow us on Twitter. That website of course is facebook.com backslash TV 19 sports. If you're ever looking for any of the uh, games that we've covered, episodes of Sports Path, you can log on to our Facebook page and find them there. Games like the one we got for you tonight as we await this exciting third period, and we look forward to it. Right, guys? Absolutely. Thank you, Sam. As we get set to start our third period, the Bears looking to break the ice here and get on the board, Corey. Yeah, absolutely. Here's the only score of the Second period was a breakaway shorthanded goal by number 20, Brock Bremer. And that's where we're at. We're at 3 0 here. Hill Murray, uh, three shorthanded goals, Jeb. And um, like I said, it's been an evenly played game. Just uh, Hill Murray's capitalized on uh, three opportunities. The Bears were able to test the goaltender Jake Bagley a little bit more there in the second period as they were able to throw some shots on that and get the shot differential a hair closer there. As we look at head coach Bill Lechner, you got to like the way that his team's playing early on to the season here. Very poised and calm. Yeah, I got a feeling that Hill Murray's going to come out and play the way they have uh, the first and second period. They're just going to play discipline, hockey. They're going to capitalize on opportunities that they have, but they're not going to try doing nothing flashy to let White Bear Lake back in this, uh, this game. And on the other end, White Bear Lake, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if they come out and play aggressive with basically nothing to lose except for possibly come back and and tie this game and possibly win it? Or do they play on their heels and continue to make the uh, small mistakes that have led to the Hill Murray 3 nothing lead? Be interested to see how this one shakes out as we are underway in the third period here. 
Back to play it for the Pioneers through center. Reifenberger's there as he's met by Lyons. And now Mills sends it in. Back to play it for the Bears is Bjornberg as they're tied up out of the corner. Mills tries to make a move. It's knocked off his stick, but Stom's there to hold it in. Helgelson unable to play the puck. Now Bjornberg through center, and it's sent back. Dan Lyons for the Bears. Plays catch with new power as he sends it hard and the length of the ice. This one will go for icing. 15.49 left to play in the third period. The Bears trying to get on the board here as, as they look to chip away, as you can see. Able to get a few shots on goal that second period, and Hill Murray still with the margin at 12 to 10. Yeah, the out, uh, White Bear Lake outshot Hill Murray in the second period, six to five. Hill Murray still has the advantage, 12 to 10 overall, but uh, like I said, looked uh, White Bear to throw some more shots on net and see if they can't get a bounce here in the third period. Back to play it for the Bears is Fiddle. As he goes down behind his own net, and looks to set up. Fiddle plays catch with Carroll. Now back to Fiddle. Through center. That's intercepted there. And now through the neutral zone. Bounced around. Just out of the reach for Carroll. And now Breezy sends it up. Brock Bramer has a goal in tonight's contest. No call here on the play. There's a couple of players tied up. Fans were looking for a call. Breezy behind his own net. A heavy forecheck there, but Ronaldo's there for the Pioneers. Yeah, it's definitely not in uh, Wiper Lake's best interest here in the third period. Down three to nothing and start getting chippy with the Pioneers because all that's going to do is uh, make them look a make them look like, uh, make them look bad, you know? I mean, like I said, it's, you know, keep playing hard. Like I said, it's been a clean game, you know? A couple penalties here and there on, on both teams, but it's been a, a clean game, and hopefully we keep the chippiness out of it here in the third period. Ronaldo was in hard there, and uh, sprayed Parento with a face full of snow. Lucky he didn't get called for the unsportsmanlike conduct, but nevertheless, the play resumes at full strength, five on five, as it's in the corner here, now New Power takes a heavy hit from Will. And back behind the Bears' net. And up through center now, Meister for the Bears. On side, tries to make a move, it's knocked into the corner there. And back to play it is Petronic for the Pioneers. And held in there nicely and now sent in, steered aside by Bagley. Petronic sends it up, kicked around there. Now out through center, Riefenberger all alone, and he scores! Marco Riefenberger makes it a four or nothing game as he beats Parento all alone on the breakaway. Yeah, Marco Riefenberger, the captain of the Hill Murray team. That's his first goal on the season. He was the second leading scorer last year for the state tournament team. Here it is again, breakaway, top shelf. First goal of the season for Marco Riefenberger. But like I was saying, Jeb, last year he was the second leading point scorer for the uh, Hill Murray Pioneers. He had 18 goals and 17 assists on that state tournament team. And now he's got his first one of the, of the season here. Hagelson sends one in. It's held on there by Parento. The Pioneers. Now with a very comfortable 4-0 lead. They're taking the fan base of the Bears certainly out of this one is a good showing for the Bears fan base, but unfortunately not a whole heck of a lot to cheer for tonight. No, and you know, like I said, Parento on the evening hasn't been peppered with shots all night long. You know, he's kind of he's made a couple nice saves where he had Defenders back, helping them, but um, you know, all four of those goals were basically breakaways. Three of them shorthanded. I mean, he hasn't uh, he hasn't had a lot of help 
um, on the evening when it comes to, you know, with the defense, defensemen kind of making plays. They just, they've kind of left, left them out to dry, if you will. New power with a shot on net there held on by Bagley. Good opportunity for the Bears, but unable to capitalize. And had Weston New Bauer of the Pioneers exit the ice, so not exactly sure. Let's we'll see if we can get our own Sam Erickson in on that. Held on here, and actually we're going to go down rinkside to Sam Erickson. Sam? Hey, guys, I am rinkside. Well, actually, I'm up on the concourse level. I'm with Will, Kevin, and Angela. They're members of the Hill Murray Pioneer Band, and they're here talking about what it's like to be a band member at the big rivalry. Now, uh, I know you guys said you kind of split up the band a little bit um, in the winter season. Uh, what's it like, though, to uh, perform in this big rivalry game? How does the energy... How does the, you know, how do you uh, feed off the energy of a big game? It's really fun. The energy always gets amped up several notches, and it's really fun to be able to provide excitement and entertainment for everyone that just spirals. And That's right, and I know, Angela, you are saying that some of the players you know said that it really amps them up, so how does it, how does it feel to be able to contribute to, uh, to what they do? I guess it's just really fun when you know the players out there, and, like, we just support each other, and when the band's here, we just, like, cheer them on really hard, and it's a good time. Nice, and I know that really helps them out as well. And, uh, Kevin, are you having fun tonight? Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Hill Murray's up 4 to nothing. We'll see how this one ends. Thanks a lot, guys. Checking back in with you now. Thank you, Sam. As we get back at it here, and Pioneers look to add to a 4 nothing lead. It's shot just off the side of the net there. Pioneers, meanwhile, go back on the power play as a penalty was called on the Bears. We'll see if they can add to their 4 nothing lead here. 12.51 left to play in the third period. Puck sent back to Stom. Stom from the top of the key shoots and held on easily by Parenteau. Yeah, Jeb, these two teams met last year uh, late in the season. Uh, Hill Murray won two to one in a, in a close game and you know we were hoping for the big rematch in the section championship, but it didn't happen after White Bear Lake was upset by Stillwater. But um, like I said, this game hasn't, uh, the anticipation for this game was, uh, was a lot bigger than what's actually played out here. Uh, Hill Murray's dominated this this game and and uh, White Bear will have to uh, look for their next opportunity to take a bite out of the Hill Murray Pioneers. Yeah, absolutely, a lot of anticipation, you talked about it, you know, everyone is excited, a huge hit here at center ice. And Dylan Mills in, tries to center, but unable to connect with Reifenberger. Now back door, Reifenberger tips out front, and a big save by Parentone. Stom. Sends it down in the corner. Hagelson there. He sends it up to Reifenberger. And now Stom. Stom sends one high and wide of the net. Reifenberger from the half wall. Sent over to Mills. And up top, Stom with a one timer. Parento able to make the save. And Reifenberger down to Hagelson. Up top to Stom. Now tipped away there. And batted right back in. A nice. Display of hand eye for Dylan Mills, but Parenton was there to make the save as we take another look here at the hand eye coronation of Dylan Mills. Yeah, the, uh, the puck was up in the air, and you know, he kept the, the stick, you know, down legally and just couldn't quite get it in the back of the net there. But um, like I said, it got a little chippy there at the end of the, of the whistle, you know, and it's one of those situations where you got a big rivalry like this, White Bear Hill Murray, you know, and you know, the Hill Murray boys now 4 0, 11 30 left. You know, they can do a little trash talking out there. And I, I got a feeling that, you know, the White Bear boys are out there kind of, you know, feeling like they got to defend themselves now because they, they weren't able to handle the business on the ice this evening. Shot from the point there by Brian is held on by Parento. And we talked about a lot of anticipation for the game and unfortunately hasn't quite met the uh, excitement that we all had coming into it, but it's it's early on in the season and 
Uh, head coach for the Bears, Tim Sager, had told us how he's got an inexperienced team, and hopefully as they gain some uh, valuable playing time and experience as the season progresses, the next time these two meet, hopefully we'll be fortunate enough to bring it to you and uh, maybe a little bit uh, different tale to the the rivalry story that it is between the Pioneers and the Bears. Oh, absolutely, Jeb. As the season goes on and these two teams grow together and learn, I mean, like I said, there isn't a lot, a lot of returning players from either team. It was uh, successful seasons last year. And, you know, like I said, just because of the, the good quality coaching both these teams have and and, and the quality of talent and, and kind of the history of this rivalry, I got a good feeling we'll see these two in that Section 4 AA championship or right around it. And, um, I don't, um, this won't be the last time we uh, we see the rivalry this season, I got a feeling there, Jeff. Shot is held on by Parento. Faceoff will come to the right of Bob Parento. And just under 11 minutes left to play. Pioneers out comfortably, four to nothing. I want to thank you for joining us here tonight. Corey Franzmeyer alongside myself. Sam Erickson doing the Sideline reporting tonight. The Bears, Neubauer, breaks out of the own end with speed, tries to make a move. Breezy knocks it away, now Neubauer. And a bounce to run. Penalty shot upcoming for the Bears as a melee out in front of Bagley. Neubauer just unable to capitalize on the open net there as I think the pass caught him off guard but nevertheless the penalty shot symbol was given by the head official I, I believe that was uh, Derek Breezy the uh, defenseman for Hill Murray who, uh, who laid it all on the line I mean he, he flopped right down out in front of the net did everything he could sacrifice his body to keep that puck from going in and then I didn't really see what happened there at the end, but uh, the senior defenseman gets a shot here at uh, one of the most exciting plays in hockey. So Wyatt Newpower will be the shooter for the Bears as now the White Bear Lake fan base starts to come to life as an opportunity here to chip away at that 4 nothing lead. Newpower all alone, one-on-one -on -one with Bagley. New power, shot and a goal. He beats Bagley, glove side. And we got ourselves a four to one hockey game. Yeah, it's exciting for uh, White Bear Lake to get on the board here. Um, you know, I wish um, Wyatt New Power didn't act like he uh, just tied the game up here. I mean, if you look at it here, Jebby, you know, one on one, and that's what uh, White Bear Lake's been seeing all night. And he puts the puck in. I think he over celebrates a bit. Still down four to one, still a lot of hockey to play. Let's see if the Bears are able to build on the new power penalty shot goal, or if the Pioneers continue to be the aggressor. Puck sent down, played there by Parento around far side. 10.30 left to play here in the third period as penalty shot goal by new power puts the Bears down by three, Bagley from his own net sends it around. And down in the corner. And now turned over here and Ryan back to play. Gets it out to Ronaldo now through center. And this is Peterson. Now Stom down low. Stom regains the puck. And he tries to send it low, it's turned over there. And flipped out through center. A near miss there for the Pioneers, but nevertheless trickles back up top. Ronaldo sends one in high and wide of the net. And it's held in nicely by Petronic. Now on the half wall, sent the length of the ice by Yenrik, and it'll be out icing on the Bears. Well, the White Bear fans finally got something to get excited about. Still four to, still down three goals. They still gotta continue to do some things here to try to inch their way closer, but there's one thing that uh, they've got going against them here, Jeb, and that's time. They're running out of time. 
Yeah, the pucks to the net is going to be key for the Bears here. They need to start playing out of the Pioneers end. Is pass just off the mark here for Meister, and this will go for icing against the Bears. You know, we talked about the anticipation for this game, Jeb. I tell you one thing, I was anticipating kind of a kind of a close to full house, kind of a raucous crowd out here. And I'm not saying it's been disappointing. I think both fan bases have uh, shown their colors well this evening, but it, uh, the atmosphere quite wasn't what I uh, anticipated to, to be. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. I wonder if it's just as early on into the young season that uh, folks are still kind of marking their calendars, I think. And the next time these two face off, I think we may see a little different, uh, different numbers when it comes to the attendance and the excitement in the building. Offsides called on the Bears here, so the faceoff will come just outside the Pioneers zone, in front of the Pioneers bench. Faceoff won by the Pioneers. Sontag now will get it in deep. Back to play it is Parentone behind his own net. Onto the stick of New Power. New Power sends it up through center with Breezy's there. And now, now New Power from his own end. Plays catch with Varney. And now through center, Meister and New Power. And Meister into the corner, sends it deep. And down. Will is unable to hold on as New Power lost his, excuse me, New Power back to play. One of the Bears defenders lost his stick. Held in nicely there by Kyler Yo. In Parentone from his, behind his own net. Sent out through center. Nath, turnover here, bounced into Bagley. Unable to get a shot on net. Shot the goal! Sager cuts the lead in half for the Bears as we go four to two with eight minutes left to play here in the third period. Yeah, that was uh, Nick Sager's third goal on the season. Uh, he was one of the returning players from last year. And that was a big, uh, big goal to cut it here in half. You know, it was one of those things where they finally taken advantage of an opportunity. The puck was wide open, kind of floating around out there, and Nick Sager got on stick, and put it in the back of the net with, with ease. Time is of the essence as the Bears cut the lead in half, and now just eight minutes left to play here in the third period as the Bears look to build on. Two goals here late in the third. They get it in deep, hard after it is Carroll. Carroll from the corner sends it down to Yenrich. And now Carroll out of the corner on the half wall. Carroll, top of the slot, sends one in. And Bagley's able to hang, hold on. Let's go down to the ice level where our own Sam Erickson standing by. Sam? Hey guys, I am standing in the middle of the crowd. I'm here with Tony as well as a lot of the other members of the Bantam AAA squad for White Bear Lake. And we were just talking about some of our favorite memories from this rivalry. Tony, you have a special one yourself. And what was that memory? 2011, Hill Murray and White Bear in section finals and White Bear beat Hill Murray and went to the state tournament. That's right, big game, big win for White Bear Lake. So they're having fun up here. White Bear is crawling back in this one. We look forward to the end of it. Thanks guys. Thank you, Sam, as a Bears fan base. We talked about it all night. Just waiting for something to cheer about. Finally, shot here right on by Meister. They finally got something to get them going a little bit, Corey. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know, a lot of it has to do with with the fact of you know how disciplined and smart Hill Murray was playing in the first two periods. You know, they've kind of let that go a little bit here in the third. Um, you know, with the penalty on um, New Power and giving him the opportunity for the penalty shot. And that last goal was just, um, they couldn't get the puck out of the zone and and uh, Bagley left the net. And next thing you know, it's 4-2. Shot right on there, is steered aside by Bagley. And now hard into the end is Dylan Mills, but whistle here as we wait to see what the uh, whistle is. A injured White Bear Lake player, Nick Sager, our most latest goal scorer for the Bears. 
was a bit hobbled in the pioneer end as he makes his way to the White Bear Lake bench. So the faceoff will come just to the left of Bob Parentone, 6.37 left to play. The Bears have cut the lead in half, but time is of the essence here as the Pioneers are looking to hold on here at home. Faceoff won by the Bears. Bounced around, now turnover. And back to play, and it's set. Fiddle got a hand on it. Nice defensive play by Fiddle there. Now out of his own end, Carroll head mans it up. Sidestepped at the line, a big hit by Bauman to take White Bear Lake off the puck and now back the other way. Centered, but picked off there and the puck trickles into the corner as Fiddle battles with Kyler Yo. Yeah, the physicality definitely has uh, has grown here in the third period. A lot more open ice hits and a lot more kind of clutching and grabbing there, Jeb, uh, than we saw in the first and second period. High stick called on the Pioneer, so the faceoff will come all the way back down into the Pioneer's end. Faceoff will be to the right of Jake Bagley. Good opportunity here for the Bears as they look to win the draw and try to get some Pucks to the net. Yeah, if the, the Bears can figure out a way to get this goal, this game within a goal, anything can happen from there, Jeb. Meister and Bramer battle in the corner. Bramer comes away with the puck, but it's held in there by the Bears, sent into the corner, and hard after it is Will. Now flipped up and out of play. No, stays in play. New Power is able to play it there at the line. And the stoppage in play. That'll put the Bears back on the power play as the Pioneers take another penalty as Brock Bramer is called for hooking. Yeah, that's one of the things, Jeb. You know, we were kind of counting out this game a bit. You know, uh, it was 4 0 Hill Murray, and we were chatting about how it hasn't uh, lived up to the, the billing. But a um, couple goals by White Bear Lake, and now they got a power play opportunity. And like I said, you know, it's. It, when these rivalry games happen, you just it's, it goes right down to the clock hits zero. Let's see if the Bears can right the ship and actually throw in a power play goal as they've given up three shorthanded goals tonight. Pioneers lead it four to two here late in the third. Just over five minutes left to play. The Bears with 150 left on the power play. New power from behind his own net. Headmans the puck to Yenrick. Yenrick. Goes down into the corner, loses a handle on it, and it's sent around all the way back up top to New Power. New Power tries to get it low, and it's turned over there. Sent the length of the ice. Both teams change. And now Wyatt New Power from behind his own net. He sends it far side. Larson brings it in with speed down around the Pioneer net. Larson up top to Fiddle. Tried to catch New Power, but it was in his skates. New Power holds it in nicely, and now Will from behind the Pioneer net. Battling there with Stom. Stom sends it back around. The Bears are able to recover. Meister now from the corner. Up top to New Power. And sent down into the corner. Now all the way back, New Power. Holds the zone. Meister all the way up top to Fiddle. New power, the one-timer, steered aside by Bagley. And the Pioneer is able to send it the length of the ice. Good opportunity there as they finally got the stick onto Wyatt New Power, but Bagley was there to make the save. Yeah, absolutely, Jeb. I mean, there was a, a couple situations there early on in the power play where, once again, sloppy passes, and they couldn't, couldn't quite uh, capture the zone there. And finally, they put a... A nice opportunity on New Power's stick, and he was just wide of the net. Held in there by the Bears, now up at the line, and that one bounces just out, so the offsides comes. With 3.28 left to play, four ticks left in the White Bear man advantage. 
Yeah, you know, I mean, we still got plenty of time here for something something to happen, but I think the key to the game here is I think it's been a pretty evenly played game from both uh, clubs. I just think the sloppy puck handling from uh, White Bear Lake has been the difference in this game tonight. And you could tell as soon as they finally got on the board, a little bit of that, uh, you know, that momentum, you could say, changed a bit. I think early on, they were having a hard time believing in themselves that they could play with the Pioneers. Opportunity here for Bramer as Parentone's there to make the save. And he holds on for the whistle. Like I said, Parentone's made some nice saves this evening, and the four goals that he's given up have all been breakaways, you know, so it's tough to really, you know, gauge his performance this evening on, on, on the goals that he's given up. Face off to the left of Parentone. Face off one by the Bears as they exit their zone. Sent in deep. And back behind his own net was Bagley to play it. Up through center and now Bramer hard into the net. Played nicely there by Cattlebert. Bramer comes away with it. Bramer back to the point. Casey Stom. Fires one in, but never made its way to Parento. And now Stom down into the White Bear Lake corner behind the net. Stom's tied up there by the White Bear defense. Attempt to tip it up there, but out of play. Let's go head back down to Sam Erickson. Sam? Hey, thanks, guys. Uh, one important thing to remember about this rivalry is, you know, until about the high school level, these Hill Murray kids are playing in their local kind of youth team. So there are a lot of friendships on both sides of this rivalry. Uh, players that both on Hill Murray and Wiper Lake that have played together growing up. Uh, just another little added caveat to this uh, long and traditional uh, historic rivalry, rather. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, as we know, Hill Murray. Uh Hotbed for hockey talent from kids from all across the metro. A lot of kids uh, coming from as far north as Chisago and North Branch and Stillwater, you name it, across the board. Well, this program has a long standing history that's brought in a lot of talent from a lot of different places. Yeah, and like you know, Sam was saying with the, the fact of, you know, these kids grew up together. Some stayed at the public school, White Bear, some went to the, you know, private sector of uh of Hill Murray, and that's that's kind of the situation with a lot of this, these rivalries within this uh, this area. You know, Tartan, North St. Paul, and and Johnson, and and different things like that. You know, a lot of these kids grow up and playing in those youth organizations, and then disperse out. And some of them go to Hill Murray, and some of them stay at the at the at the organizations that they grew up in. And it just uh, kind of makes for fun hockey over here in the East Metro. Shot right on, tipped out front, but just off the mark as Newbauer's shot was. Tipped out front, but a good break for the Pioneers as the Bears were inches away from making this a one-goal game. Parentold's been pulled for the Bears, so the extra skater on for the Bears is Meister from down behind the Pioneer net. Now battling in the corner is Bjornberg. And Bjornberg tries to come away with it and sent up top unable to hold it in was fiddle and it comes back to new power now new power sends it in it's tipped in there by will and hill murray called for too many men on the ice and so we'll have another white bear lake power play late in the game here 113 left to play and head coach bill lechner does not like the call Yeah, White Bear Lake definitely has you know an opportunity here with a minute 13 left. They're going to have a two two man advantage, and uh, they should definitely get some opportunities here to get it within one. You get it within one, you never know what can happen here within this last minute and 13 seconds of the game. Head coach Bill Lechner not a fan of the call as he had a few words with the officials but nevertheless the linesman had seen too many men on the ice and the puck made contact with the Hill Murray player therefore the penalty was called timeout now called here as both teams get set try to figure out a game plan 
Folks, we want to remind you, we're always looking for volunteers here at On Location TV 19. If you're interested, you can contact Arlen Becker. See the number there on your screen, or feel free to shoot him an email at arlen at onlocationtv.org. So 113 left here in the rivalry matchup between the Bears and the Pioneers. Hill Murray jumps out to an early 4-0 lead, but two late goals here by the Bears have made this one interesting. Yeah, absolutely, Jeb. And, you know, like I said, what started with the first two periods was, uh, you know, 4 nothing. You looked like it was going to be all Hill Murray, and White Bear Lakes made it the game, and now they've got a, a two-man advantage here for the rest of the game with the pulled goalie and the uh, power play. And um, now they've got an opportunity here to uh, to get within one and possibly tie it up. So it'll be six on four here for the remainder of the game, I guess, barring a goal by either side. It's the Bears win the draw. Meister down low. And Quas comes away with it. Now up top, Fiddle sends one in. It's tipped around. Meister unable to get a handle on it. Set the length of the ice, but just wide of the net. Nearly put the dagger in there. His new power is back to play it for the Bears. And now Fiddle through center. Fiddle sends it in deep. Wrapped all the way around. Tipped around on the half wall there. As new power is taken down. And now Meister unable to connect. It's tipped around. Reifenberg and Fiddle. And it's knocked in by Reifenberg. And that should do it. A tough break for the Bears as Fiddle and Reifenberg tied up on a battle for the puck, and Reifenberger comes away with the empty net goal. Yeah, that's Marco Reifenberger's second goal of the season, and he just uh, turned the Jets on, and turned the Jets on, and outskated the White Bear defender, and laid it all out there and tapped it in, and sealed the deal, if you will, for uh, Hill Murray on this Tuesday evening. 23 seconds left to play in this one, and the Pioneers will even up their record at two and two. The Bears, on the other hand, will fall to three and two, but as the final seconds tick away down here in the Pioneers' end. And they battle in the corner here. Sent on that, it's steered aside by Bagley. And that'll do it. So the Pioneers tally on a late open net goal on the stick of Marco Reifenberger. And they'll escape this one five to two over the Bears. Yeah, Jeb, it was a uh, it was an even play game. This five to two is a, a little deceiving. You know, I thought it was an even play game. I thought it went uh, back and forth. It was just uh, Hill Murray capitalized on all all White Bear Lakes mistakes this evening. And I believe that was the difference of the game. The Bears end up giving up three shorthanded goals as we take a look at some of those goals early on. Goal here by Sean Ryan. Yeah, that was his uh, first goal of the season. Take a look at Reifenberger's first goal here as he beat Parento short side. And then later on, the Bears is able to get on the board on a goal by Wyatt Newpower. Yeah, oh, we got to see the um, one of the most exciting things in sports there, a uh, penalty shot, and uh, Wyatt Newpower didn't disappoint. The Bears made it a bit of a game as they cut the lead in half on a goal late by Nick Sager, but the ultimate icing on the cake came on the second goal of the night by Marco Reifenberger as he tapped in the empty net late in the game. I want to remind folks, Sports Path on Location TV 19. Every other Wednesday, we bring you highlights and interviews and much more live at 7 every other Wednesday. That's Sports Path on Location TV 19. And take a look there at 
head coach Bill Lechner as we wrap things up. The Pioneers victorious tonight over the rivalry Bears, five to two. We'll, have, we'll sit down and talk with head coach Bill Lechner right after this. Morning, Gary. We are GetSchooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. Picking a college, man. You and us go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. And yeah, welcome back here as the Pioneers victorious tonight over the Bears in a 5-2 victory on two goals by Marco Reifenberger. Well, let's head down where we get a chance for our own Sam Erickson to talk to head coach Bill Lechner. Sam? Hey, all right. Thanks, guys. We're here with coach. Congratulations, coach, on the victory. Uh, normally, you want to stay away from the penalty kill, but uh, tonight was a little bit different. Right. Yes, I don't know if I've ever seen. It's been a long time. Been doing this a long time. I don't know if I've ever seen three shorthanded goals. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll take it, obviously. But, you know, we don't need to get in penalties all day long either. That's right, and we also saw a penalty shot here tonight, something you don't often see. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Well, I didn't see the whole thing. You guys got a better view at it. I'll watch the tape and see, but uh, obviously we don't want to allow uh, that to happen either because uh, number 38 is a pretty good hockey player. And, uh, you know, so we, we can't have that happen either. And that was at a good time. It gave momentum back. It's important. It's a big rivalry victory. They did creep in back in a little bit. Um, what does it take to finish off a game like this? Well, you know, we got we got a pretty young team, and, and they're young too. We only have five seniors, but what, what the kids have to learn both ways for White Bear and Hill is no one's ever going to go away in a White Bear Hill rivalry. It doesn't matter what the ratings are. It doesn't matter what time of year, section, regular game. So you have to play. you got to play 51 miles. you got to play the whole game. Um, so, you know, both teams will take some lessons from that. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Certainly you can see why Hill Murray is successful every year, and we wish you luck for the rest of the season. Yeah, appreciate your time. Thanks, Sam, and we want to thank head coach Bill Lechner for taking the time to chat with us. From all of us here at On Location TV 19, from Sam Erickson, Corey Franzmeyer, I'm Jeff Brand. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you next time.